Hey, what's up you guys, it's Jeremy, and there's a fire near my house, and like, school was canceled the last two days, so I'm just living life. So yeah, welcome to another episode of Advice with Jeremy. This is the second, um, the second, like, video of it. Yeah. Please give this video a like if you guys actually like this advice thing, because I don't know if you do. I'm just going with the flow, that's what white people do. So yeah, I have my iPad again. Um, fun fact, it's actually my mom's iPad, but I took it from her. So mom, if you're watching this, this is where your iPad is at. So we got a beautiful admission. I got this actually a long time ago when I first was asking for questions, but I wanted to wait. I wanted to be a video just for this one alone because it's kind of pretty deep. So let's get started. Spill your guts, please DM me on Instagram and this is what they said. So um, I'm having troubles with my girlfriend. I just can't seem to get comfortable with her touching me or kissing me. I mean, I'm okay with it on the cheek and hugs, but anything more than that makes me super uncomfortable. I don't know how long our relationship will last because I'm like this. Do you have any tips I could follow in order to be more open and comfortable with physical contact? We haven't even had our first kiss yet and our one year anniversary was today, July 28th. Thank you if you answer this. Okay, so I'm going to address you and anyone else who's watching this, if you can relate, then keep watching. So it's clear in the relationship that your girlfriend is very affectionate and she wants to be affectionate in public or in private either or. So if I were you, I would try talking to her and say, okay, I don't like this, this, this. I think we should take baby steps. We're going too fast. We're going too slow. Whatever you need to talk about. You guys have been together for a whole year and haven't had a first kiss. I'm not saying that's a bad thing because some people just take longer than others. Normally, I'm very fast with the first kiss because I'm very lonely and try to grab on every person that tries to touch me. Okay. But I'm just saying, it's gonna be bad for you and her to be in a relationship where both of you can't agree on something and I feel like you shouldn't put yourself in that position. If you guys can't come to an agreement, then I don't know if you guys should be together. If one person wants something, the other one doesn't. However, I'm not legally a therapist, so you could just completely disregard this video. That's cool. You also told me that you guys are both very happy people together, but you want to show her that you are happier with her. And I feel like if you truly want to put your main focus on trying to be more comfortable with her in public and privacy and be more affectionate, then I would say just start off really slow. Like you did, kiss her the cheek, that's good. Maybe hold hands one day, maybe hug her longer, and so on and so forth. So if like everyone should go at their own pace and you shouldn't be shunned for wanting to take longer than other people. But from what I can tell, you guys seem pretty happy together, so I say go with it. Just try baby steps, that's the best thing you can do is go slow, go slow, go slow, go slow, go slow, go slow. Go slow. And soon enough, you'll be happy together. And in case it doesn't work out for whatever reason, just know that you don't have to speed up your process for someone else. And if they can't accept you for wanting to take baby steps, then who the fuck are they? So yeah, make sure to keep sending in questions and stuff to any of my social media accounts DMs, which will be shown at the end of this video. I'll see you guys Sunday and then next Wednesday for another advice to Jeremy. Awesome. So yeah, uh, make sure to leave a cute comment and subscribe if you've never seen me. I'm Jeremy, nice to meet you. Hello, and now I'm about to leave, so... Goodbye. Ooh.